Okay, I've mixed up about 13 ounces of resin. Put some into cups and have a, some clear set aside. Counterculture medium viscosity equal parts A and B. I'm going to do a freeform oval shape with these crushed shells, which I love the colors of. And I'm going to basically lavender blue teal green. I don't want a lot of green. And then I'm going to do some white. So I'm also going to add Petra. Uh, I have a link below the video, her Etsy shop, Sparkle White. I'm going to put just a little in each one for extra sparkle. Except for my clear. This will be my white here. I'm going to put a little bit of Pinata White Alcohol Ink. My little dripper is uh, missing in action, so I'm having to pour it in. And I'm going to put a few drops of Cast and Craft. Okay, so this one will be my green. This is Let's Resin Pearlized Pigment Apple Green. And I'm going to put one little squirt of. Oh, that was a big squirt of regular green. I didn't mean to put that much. This one is going to have. Petra's Navajo, which is a really pretty teal. I'm going to kind of wait before I close that up just to make sure I have enough. I'm using lavender. My purple is out, but this lavender is pretty deep, so I'm going to put that in that one. And let's resin blue in this one. I didn't pick sapphire, which is a little deeper. I wanted this one a little bit brighter. So let's start stirring these up and see what they look like. Gonna put drop of Baja Blue. It makes it really pretty. And a little squirt of Malachite Green from Let's Resin. A drop of Baja Blue in that one. This is again Let's Resin Lavender, and I think I'm just going to leave this one as is. This is a plastic shower curtain. Kind of rain it in a little bit. And then I'm going to go around, put popsicle sticks. That just kind of keeps it from um, being totally flat. And the resin creeping past the shells as much. 
And this doesn't have to be, I don't want it necessarily to be a perfect oval or anything like that. I'm not aiming for that. I want a few in the middle. They're fairly flat, nothing that's real chunky. We'll see how that goes. It's, it's okay if it sticks out a little bit. This is just a freeform decorative piece, you know, could be used for something but um, so I'm gonna put just a little clear there So the plastic is, uh, maybe it, because it got heated, it's kind of moving around and it's got some crinkles, but I'm not super worried about it. I'll just weight it down with a few bottles and... Okay, I'll be back to mold it in a little bit. Okay, gonna leave this overnight. I did want it off center, so we'll see how it looks in the morning. I kind of want to see it. Okay, I'll just. I'll just leave it be. 
be back. Okay, so I have taken the piece off of the form that I had and I removed the saran wrap underneath. And um, this is the, the part that I actually poured the resin on and I've just kind of released it from the edges. There's a good chance I can't use this plastic again because it, it, you know, kind of gets pulled with the resin when it's being formed and stuff. So this is just a cheap shower curtain that's a couple of bucks. So I'm not going to try to salvage it. So are you ready for this? This is the bottom. And I, yes, I did want it off center. I wanted it kind of cattywampus. Look at this. I love it. I absolutely love it. I also, um, last night, I could tell that it was almost really firm enough to just demold totally, but I didn't undo it until um, today but I did cut away some pieces that I felt um, were sticking out that were kind of yucky but I like a little bit of the clear kind of coming and going around the edges I just like that look so um, and I've never done it to where I've formed it too soon and it drips My, it this did distort a little bit it did move a bit but not much so there you can see the center. It kind of started to, you know, drip down a bit, but I like it. It's very random. There's dents and crinkles and all that kind of stuff, which I actually love that look. So I am really, really pleased with it. So when you set it down, it is high on this end and low on this end and that's, you know, I want it kind of that way. So I am really pleased and I've got an LED light I'm going to put in it and take pictures of and show you pictures from the side and, and the, light, the daylight and everything. So this is the bowl. So this would be like kind of from the side looking at it. I really, really love it. So I am super happy and pleased and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. I can always use more subscribers, more support. I look forward to making these videos to encourage and uplift you and give you creative ideas and I look forward to seeing your pieces finished. That's why I have my Facebook group. Come join me there. It's for anybody that creates art of any kind. So I'll see you on the next video. Love you all. Bye-bye.